so your interview is going really well and interviewer has so far understood that you have a good understanding of networking you have good understanding of cyber security basics but one thing which he wants to now gauge your information or your knowledge on is about framework because more than uh, all these basics you all should also be aware of what are the frameworks around which cyber security can be deployed so the first question which uh, the interviewer asks or throws at you is do you know about nist cyber security framework the second question he follows up is tell me if you know about the five pillars of nist framework and lastly he asks you to tell me something about some top cyber security companies and its products that offer services as per nist framework now depending on your response it you know this this conversation could go on but the idea of this video is to go through each of these questions and answer it and by the end of this video you will exactly know some top tier companies in cyber security and some f uh, fantastic products which they offer in the market you could also target to get into these companies for a bright career in cyber security so let's get started so friends we are continuing our cyber security for beginner uh, series i am anshul tiwari i have more than 18 years of experience in it industry and i try to bring it industry knowledge in various shapes and forms especially for people who are the beginners in very easy and digestible manner so if you are new consider subscribing and giving us a like so let's get started so eight top tier cyber security companies and their popular products okay this is the whole essence of this video but if you remember the inter interviewer still asked us two questions before this one what were those the number one was what is nist so nist stands for nist is a cyber security framework developed by the national institute of standards and technology okay so nist has defined certain uh, frameworks as you can see in this diagram what is a framework framework is a set of guidelines a set of principles around which you have to uh, create your cyber security strategy because if there is no framework every everyone will do whatever they want to do okay that's why these famous frameworks uh, and uh, governance models are there especially in cyber security because if uh, for example there is a gdpr compliance so that is a framework with which you protect the data of the user private data of the user so all these frameworks and policies are required okay it's are very sometimes you find it boring because all these are by the books rules and laws but very important if you want to start your career in cyber security so now let's understand more about the five pillars of nist framework the number one is identify you have to at first place identify what all assets you have in your company because there could be thousands of assets lying in your company and you don't know what potential risk they contain so as per the framework one of the very important pillar is to identify what assets you have the second pillar which you have in this framework is protect so you have to protect or minimize the impact of cyber incidents you have to protect it in a manner where your blast radius blast radius is you know is how big that surface area the uh, attack surface area could be okay so protect is protecting your landscape to the best possible um, uh, you know extent the third one is detect you have to find out ways to detect any occurrence of events early on if you do not have that mechanism uh, it might be too late for you when you know someone strikes down your network or your devices so third pillar is detect fourth pillar is respond so once you have detected how quickly you can respond to a cyber security incident that is a very important aspect so that's where uh, your uh, you know your security operation center comes into picture soc team the last pillar is recover so even after this incident you have to make sure that your servers uh, your services are up and running recently we uh, we saw the famous crowd strike uh virus which was like uh, cyber attack which happened and all your windows servers windows machines went down so the time it took to the rec to recover those you know it cost billions of dollars right so recovery is a very important so these five pillars are 
आर द निस्ट फ्रेमवर्क ओके कम्स अंडर द निस्ट फ्रेमवर्क नाउ द मल्टी मिलियन डॉलर क्वेश्चन इज वॉट कंपनीज आर देयर इन द मार्केट टूडे हु प्रोवाइड प्रोडक्ट्स विच स्पैन अक्रॉस ऑल दीज फाइव पिलर्स आइडेंटिफाई protect detect respond recover so what i have done is because there are so many companies it's impossible for me to detect what to pick what to not to pick i have t- done my research i have went to gartner for assistance like what are the leading companies then i have also uh, taken uh, the head count of the employees their valuations the products and come up with eight such companies which you should be aware of there are many counterparts of these companies but these eight would give you good enough understanding of what products are there in the market leading products so the number one company without any doubt is cisco cisco has been the pioneer when it comes to networking and security solutions the valuation and we are going descending so we'll take the biggest company first cisco is close to 225 billion dollars company and head count is 82000 employees a huge company it is based in san jose california us and it is known for its network security cloud security identity management dns protection and some leading products are cisco securex cisco umbrella dns layer security duo security all this you know are there i have uh, added the link so let's click on this link so now uh, let's see so these are all the different products you can scroll if you want i will put these links in the description but all these uh, are different products which are provided by cisco the second company uh, in this list is uh, ibm again ibm is a pioneer 120 billion dollar company it is total workforce of 2 and 2 uh, lakhs 50 thousand uh, and large focus is is on cyber security Uh, it is again based on uh, us new york uh, and it has enterprise security and seem seem stands for security information and event management platform so it is it comes under identify detect kind of a category when comes to seem products so we have ibm q radar and ibm guardian let's click on this link and see what products we have yeah ibm guardian insights ibm guardian has multiple flavors then ibm verify ibm verify governance all these are different products it comes under identity and access management data security all these are different uh, you know products which you could find uh, for for ibm so moving on to the next company uh that is palo alto networks a 78 billion dollar company 40000 14000 employees santa clara us california it is famous for its next generation firewall endpoint protection and cloud security uh, some famous pro- uh, products for palo alto is prisma cloud cortex soar soar stands for security orchestration automation and response okay so instead of manual response you can orchestrate it it is so you might be asked the question like what is the dis- difference between seem or and soar so soar is security orchestration it, uh, so instead of manual intervention you will have scripts will, will which will orchestrate and automate your response now we also have next generation firewall which are very advanced to traditional firewalls and uh, it uh, it helps detect and prevent the threats uh so let's visit palo alto networks quickly and see the products so products a to z advanced dns security all these are uh, uh different uh, products okay cloud next generation firewall okay this is a good tool cortex is here cortex soar it is here so all these are different uh, products which are offered by palo alto networks moving on to the fourth company and the fourth company is crowd strike 39 billion dollar company 7500 employees again california us see us is the home for all, so many companies you know it is that's why every company is based in us that's why you have so many opportunities in us for it professionals it is also again a very good endpoint security com- uh, product uh, offers endpoint security a uh, pro- product with its falcon platform <clears throat> crowd strike falcon 
and threat intelligence, proactive threat hunting. So it has uh, endpoint protection. Falcon is a famous product and then Falcon X. Let's see. Yeah, Falcon Pro, Falcon next generation antivirus. It offers also superior next generation antivirus. <coughs> So, so many tools are there, but you just have to understand that these are some good companies and then there are various counterparts and competitors of these companies. Okay. So Falcon is Falcon CrowdStrike Falcon. Remember the name. The fifth one is Splunk. Splunk is $28 billion company, close to 8,500 employees uh, yeah, based in San Francisco, California, US. Market leader in SIEM, security information and event management with additional solutions for log management and soar okay so it has splunk enterprise security splunk phantom all these are splunk products which offer cyber security let's check out splunk so this is how this platform works so security observability uh, detect investigate respond you know everything can be connected using third party apis so they have talked about so Splunk attack analyzer, Splunk enterprise security, which we were talking about. Splunk also has uh, its SOAR product. Full stack visibility at any scale. Solve problems in seconds with the only full stack analytics powered and open telemetry native. So telemetry is all about getting data from your devices. That is telemetry. So a lot of products. Splunk is another good company coming to the sixth one it is zscaler a 25 billion dollar evaluation company 6000 employees san jose california us again us zscaler is the leader in cloud security it uh, primarily primarily focus on zero trust i have made a video on zero trust architecture so go check that out and it also uh, offers a platform which is called as sas says i don't know how to spell it secure access service edge it has the leading product Zia, Zscaler Internet Access, ZPA, Zscaler Private Access and Zscaler Digital Experience. You can read the descriptions, SSL in uh, inspection, advanced threat prevention, this provides zero trust network access, ZTNA. So let's check out Zscaler. Secure Internet and SaaS access with cloud native SSE. And I think it will now have the list of all the different products. So what does this say? Single scan multi action. Okay. Z scalar proxy with SSMA data packets going through the internet packets in memory within there. It will scan for antivirus URL filtering botnets XSS DLP data loss prevention and DCC. <coughs> I don't know what DCC stands for. Sorry guys, but looks like a very good uh, way to um, you know offer cyber threat protection inspect all traffic at scale including tls ssl with our unique single scan secure web gateway intrusion prevention system advanced threat protection dns security different kinds of products are there so this is that scaler for you guys next up who is following so the seventh one is qualis you might have heard the name. It is also based in Pune, I guess. Yes, Pune. I, I think Wallace is there based in Pune. Uh, I, many others would be there in Pune, but I, I think I've seen Wallace office. $5.8 billion, 2,200 employees. So comparatively smaller. So now the evaluations have gone down. These are smaller companies which will specialize in a specific area. So it is specialized in vulnerability management, asset management, cloud security provides continuous monitoring and compliance. So Qualys has its own cloud platform and then Qualys has VMDR, vulnerability management, detection and response. So you saw that identity identify pillar of NIST. I think it will fit there because it will find out the vulnerability of your systems. Vulnerabilities are potential weaknesses in your system, which could be exploited by an attacker. Let's explore Qualys de-risk your business across the extended enterprise yes yeah, so they have this enterprise true risk platform which they are pitching nowadays asset management vulnerability and configuration management okay which is vmdr uh, so yeah they have uh, across different uh, uh, verticals risk remediation threat response and detection compliance all this all this comes on under their product line all right so qualis is again a very good company 
Gartner coil is recognized in the July 24 Gartner Market Guide for CNAPP Cloud Native Application Protection Platform. Interesting. So the final one on our list is Tenable, Tenable.io. It is a $5 billion company, 1600 employees, Maryland, US, Columbia. Again, vulnerability management very closely linked to what Qualys performs, focusing on risk across on-premise. So it, it again has its own vulnerability management software and they also provide CNAP, Cloud Native Application Protection Platform, which gives you a unified secu security product which can be deployed across your platform okay so let's visit tenable cloud security okay okay so this is how you deploy the unified tenable cnap at scale and it will track and it will show you that uh, okay there is one vulnerable account in aws then azure then google cloud there is some data vulnerability i think pub sub topic uh, okay there's a vulnerability here in one of the public ec2 instances so it will it will have everything under one umbrella which is very inter interesting because nowadays we are going multi-cloud so almost every enterprise will have all kinds of cloud providers doing all kinds of things so it will give you everything under one stack gdpr hipaa all these compliances are there nice very nice I did not saw these in details. I just put it, put those links uh, wherever needed. But I now am finding it very good. We can we can actually explore if there are some free versions of these tools available. Uh, we can see if we can use these uh, as a demo. Okay, Kubernetes security can be simplified. Okay, that is also good. Terraform security is there, I guess. So everything, I guys, I think uh, it provides everything under one umbrella. Again, a great company, Tenable. So guys, these are the companies, eight companies which I thought should be known to you. And again, there are various other counterparts of these companies and I have had to do a lot of research to actually come up with these eight. There are 80 or maybe more than that. So do your own study, but understand that all these companies targets different pillars of your NIST framework and try to pitch their solutions uh, along those pillars. Okay. So what are those pillars? Just to rephrase, just let me go. Identity, protect, detect, respond and recover. So these are the five pillars of NIST. So I hope this was a useful video, guys. I tried to broad the product lines into cybersecurity. Hope you know more. If you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comment section and uh, until next time, keep learning, keep sharing and yes, keep hustling. Bye for now.